Working in the engine compartment, remove the expansion tank cap, green arrow. Be sure the engine has fully cooled before removing the cap. Cover the cap with a rag when opening. If there is still system pressure, this will lessen the spillage. Working in the front wheel well, remove the two 8mm fasteners, green arrows. The right side is shown, the left side is similar. Working at the lower radiator splash shield, remove the two 8mm fasteners as indicated by the green arrows. Pull the lower radiator splash shield down and away from the bumper and remove it. Place a 5 gallon bucket, green arrow, under the left side of the radiator. Loosen the radiator drain plug and drain the coolant, green arrow. You can use a pair of pliers to grab the petcock if you are gentle or a flathead screwdriver. Allow the coolant to drain into the bucket. Once the coolant has stopped dripping, reinstall the radiator drain plug. Most engines will have a 13 mm drain plug, green arrow, on the right side of the block, red arrow. Remove the drain plug and drain the coolant into the pan. Our project vehicle is a 4MATIC, which makes getting a photo of this drain plug nearly impossible. The drain plug is on the right side of the block, about 4 inches away from the transmission bell housing. Using a 50% distilled water, 50% engine coolant mix, slowly fill the expansion tank until the coolant level indicator reaches the minimum mark, red arrow. The level indicator as viewed inside the reservoir, red arrow. The side of the tank, green arrow, where the clear and black plastic meet are just about at the minimum level. Trapped air is common when filling the cooling system and can result in improper cooling. It is important to bleed your cooling system each time the cooling system is serviced. Install the expansion tank cap and be sure all bleeder screws are tight. Turn on the ignition, do not start the engine. Set the temperature controls in the vehicle interior to full warm and the blower fan speed to low. Start and run the engine at idle until it reaches operating temperature and check the coolant level. Top up as needed. When done, check the cooling system for leaks. Repeat, start and run the engine at idle until it reaches operating temperature and check the cooling system for leaks. When warm, the coolant level should be about one centimeter above the minimum mark. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.